Hi, I'm Susie, I'm a craft stylist and mum of two. I'm here today to show you how easy and fun it is to help your children with their school projects. And today we're going to be building a clay volcano. And to make this you will need a square cake board, air drying clay, a selection of orange, black and red acrylic paints, a rolling pin, a jam jar and a paint palette. First we need to take a small piece of air drying clay and mould it into a flattish shape and then start rolling out onto the cake board. Roll out the clay completely covering the cake board and then take your jam jar and place in the middle of the clay covered board and just wiggle and press it in place. And then take another piece of air drying clay, roll it into a sausage shape and then start building around the jam jar, pressing the clay down with your fingers as you go. Depending on the size of the jar and the board, you may need around one and a half packets of air drying clay to make the volcano. When you get to the top of the jam jar, just place some of the air drying clay around the top and then push some of it over the top of the rim. Keep building up around the sides of the volcano with more clay until it starts to take shape. Now I'm going to make some lava, so take a small piece of clay and roll it out to a thin sausage shape and then just add it to the top volcano and press down with your fingers down to the bottom. Using your fingertips just make some marks around the volcano so it creates a rocky effect. So now you have to leave it to dry. Normally it takes between two to three days to completely dry out. Now we're going to start painting the volcano. We'll start with some orange at the top and then add layers, different shades of orange and red and black at the bottom. to take the next shade of orange and start blending it in to the lighter colour. Now I'm going to paint some red onto the bottom of the volcano. Next I'm going to paint some dark red around the bottom. And then finally, the black. Now I'm going to add just a few sort of splats and splodges of the orange. Once you're happy with how it looks, leave it to dry for a few hours before moving on to the next step. So now for the fun part, we're going to make our volcano erupt. You need to place the volcano inside a tray or a large roasting tin and then we're going to add about two to three centimetres of vinegar inside the jar and a couple of drops of red food colouring and a couple of teaspoons of baking soda. For a list of what you need to make, the instructions and more great school project ideas, head to the Hobbycraft blog or the Ideas station on Facebook. Mm -hmm.